How's it going guys? This is Brian here of the Games That Are Back Again. Um, in a live action video. It's surprising, right? Um, today I figured I'd take a look at some of the uh, pickups I got in over a few weeks and um, show you the shows those off to you guys. Um, let's start with the video games first. Uh, I'll show you that. Uh, first off, the first thing I got was this uh, complete in box uh, copy of Duck Hunt for the Nintendo Entertainment System. And I, I picked this up because I don't really see black box games that much in a, a full, complete in box at all. Uh, the only black box game I think I really have in um, I had before this was um, Ice Climbers, but the box was in terrible shape. But it's still great to have it. Um, it is complete with everything. I'm not sure how complete it is, though. So that's kind of hard to tell because I don't really know the inserts and stuff that were in black box games. I know most people consider complete in box is the manual which is right here and cartridge with slipcase so we got the original nintendo slipcase and we got a pretty good in shape uh copy of duck hunt so that's great uh it's weird i never really looked through the manuals of like a lot of black box games and it's like seeing a lot of these illustrations like this like connecting your enia zapper to the tv is kind of cool seeing that or just like looking through these are kind of cool because it like shows you like uh <laughs> I like the operating the zapper picture right here that's kind of cool like they did all these little pictures and stuff on just to illustrate how to play the game and everything I mean this is a this is a pretty short manual I mean smallest I've probably ever seen for a Nintendo game so uh yeah so there was like nothing else I didn't see like a Nintendo Power uh, poster in it so I don't think Maybe it wasn't there at the time for Nintendo Power. I don't think so. I think this came out way before. Because this came out at the same... I'm pretty sure it was around the same time that the Nintendo released. Um, don't quote me on it. It says 1985. So yeah, I don't think Nintendo Power existed back then. I think they just had the Nintendo Fun Club newsletter. But even then, that doesn't have like a form for it. So I'll set that aside. Um, these next two games are going to be Nintendo Switch titles. Uh, okay. I'll just go out and say, uh, this one is, uh, Wonder Boy and the Dragon's Trap, uh, published by Nicholas. I bought, actually bought, uh, the digital copy of this when it was released, uh, way back when, but I figured I'd pick this up because I love the, I like the box art and Nicholas always puts like a, a lot of awesome freebies in this. Like, uh, they always put like an instruction manual, but there's also other stuff in here that's pretty cool. Uh, for example, they got this little awesome little uh, uh, cell phone charm right here of your character when he's cur when he or she's cursed. Um, as I said, uh, instruction booklet. These things are like really really cool. I love uh, like the little art and everything that they put in it. Look at that. Look at this stuff. Look like how awesome this stuff looks right here. <laughs> like you don't get this a lot like i wish more companies would do uh would do uh manuals and everything oh look at that too I just noticed that on the back right there and the final thing they could give you with the uh, um with this is a little soundtrack cd oh i'll take it out of the paper so you can see it uh just it's like a little selection of the soundtrack that you can get and it's about the size of a gamecube uh disc it's a little mini disc so that's kind of cool but I think the best uh, best thing about this entire packaging um, is the cartridge. I don't know if you could see that if the camera is not focused up, but that looks like a old school Mega Drive cartridge um, with the with the way it looks. Oh, <laughs> and I figured I'd show you this as well. Um, on the inside, there is a, there's like a d alternate alternative art right there. It shows you right there. It has like in a retro style. And I never know. I didn't notice this until now, but on the outside art as the checkerboard pattern, just like how the Mega Drive games were. So that's kind of cool. I'll put everything back into here. This is just really cool. I love all these little stuff. I need to get, um, there's two more Nicholas games that I'm missing and I don't want to get the ones without the instruction books and the extras. And that's, it'll do in a uh, tiny barbarians DX. I tried to contact Nicholas to see if I can get those games, but they haven't responded back to me at all. Um, they don't have to respond. I don't care. Um, next game. As I said, I had two Switch games. 
Uh, next game is Bayonetta 2, uh, which includes a full download of uh, Bayonetta on the Switch. And this is pretty cool. I love, uh, I've been playing through the original Bayonetta right now on my Switch, and the game is so smooth. And I've never played like a beat em up hack and slash type game like this where the game was so smooth. Water. Um, I don't care if I show you this because it's already redeemed anyways, but I'll block it just in case. Um, here's the inside cover as the original Bayonetta cover as it originally was in North America. Everybody loves the other cover for some reason for Europe and Japan, but I don't know. I liked, uh, I liked the Bayonetta cover for, uh, North America. It, it seems like it's a lot better in my opinion. Um... I'm excited to get into Bayonetta 2. Um, still haven't finished Bayonetta yet, so got to get through that story. Then I'll jump right into Bayonetta 2. Um, finally, for the games, I just... Oh, no. I had two more items, actually. Uh, second to last, uh, today I picked up... Uh, I ordered... There was like a deal going on at Walmart on their site. And uh, a lot of the a lot of 3DS games were uh, like $20. And so I'm like, cool. I'll pick it up and I'll do like a ship-to-store thing. It was like a dollar thirty-four for tax and everything, and I'm like, oh, cool, free ship to store and just a dollar thirty-four. So I only paid like twenty-one thirty-four for this, and that is the Metroid: Samus Returns uh, Special Edition uh, set that we got here in North America. Uh, this thing is cool. Uh, I've, I've played some Metroid uh, Two before. I just never really had the chance to finish it. I'm, I'm of course referring to the original Game Boy one. Um, I never finished it. It's just so hard to. It's just such a weird game, and it's so hard to beat for me. Uh, there's a lot of things that come with it. Uh, a couple things that come with this. Um, of course, um, you got the game of, of course, and you got this uh, soundtrack right here. It's a Samus Archive sound selection, and it has like a bunch of uh, uh, songs from the Metroids, uh, from the history of Metroid, of course, including. Uh, other M to the much dismay of everybody else it seems but it has a lot of great songs it has some from the original Metroid Metroid the original Metroid 2 from the Game Boy uh, of course Samus Returns from here um, Super Metroid Metroid Fusion Metroid Prime uh, 1 2 and 3 and there's like there's like this is, it's amazing I like it uh, especially like the C the CD Oof. Burp. I don't know why. <laughs> and of course, you got the game. Um, it's got this uh, special reversible cover, cover, which gives you a thing that looks like the original Game Boy One. That's kind of cool. And you got the back on there. You got the little SR uh, 388. Um, I think it's SR. Yeah, SR 388 um, reference on the bottom right there with the barcode. So that's kind of cool. Uh, put everything away in here of course gotta keep it in here i'll play that in a bit um and the last for my games is a is a company that a lot of people don't seem to like but i thoroughly enjoy what they do uh for video games and i'm glad that they're still putting out um physical media for stuff uh, this is a system that not a lot of other people buy for at all for some reason, I do not know why, because it's underrated system. Um, I'll show you this. This is a card they gave me with it, as you can probably already see in the corner right there. This is from Limited Run Games. Um, I purchased their uh, oh, there's a lot, little ticket right here for their giveaway stuff. I purchased uh, the Bit Trip Complete, uh, the Bit Trip Limited Edition uh, game for the Vita. And this is a co uh, compilation of Bitrip Beat, Bitrip Core, Bitrip Void, Bitrip Runner, Bitrip Fate, and Bitrip Flux. I already bought their um, Runner 2, um, Runner 2 copy, uh, physical release that they did for the Vita. So I, fi I figured I'd pick up the Bitrip, um, the complete Bitrip um, compilation right here. Uh, yeah, of course, I, I, it's already it's empty because I already. I have it in my Vita right now, uh, playing that, and it comes with this little flyer, which is kind of cool. I'll show you that. There's the art, it's the artwork, and right there, you can pause the video if you want to read that. 
and it's really cool. I'm glad uh, Limited Run has been doing stuff like this, and I'm I await the Skullgirls uh, physical edition for the Vita because I've been waiting for that for uh so let's see it's been almost two years now waiting for that it, uh if lab zero didn't like start dragging their feet on that and took their sweet time and then we would have had it like last year maybe um but yeah Alrighty, moving on um i got some amiibo that i uh bought as well um finally was able to get like some of the smash ones that i didn't have the chance to buy at all oh i forgot about a few um Amiibo, so I'll put those with it. Uh, did I get everything? Yes, I did. Yeah. Okay, so all these Amiibo I got. Um, and this is pretty cool. Um, first off, the first one I got, uh, there's this place called Bookman's in Arizona, which is like, uh, they sell like everything. They have like used video games, used books, movies, vinyl records, and everything. Um, as I said, they had video games in, um, one of the things they have is Amiibo. So I was able to pick up a uh, Kirby Smash Amiibo. Finally get to use them for like the Kirby games on the 3DS and uh, Smash Bros. Hopefully. Uh, next one I got was an another Smash Reveal. This is, is the theme already. Uh, Zia Records was selling a lot of the uh, Amiibo as well. And I was able to get a uh, Mega Man Amiibo as well. Um, able to use that for the Mega Man Legacy Collection to unlock uh, stuff. And I can't wait for that to come out for the Switch because it's going to be able to unlock like some challenges that you can uh, use it for. Um, also, at Zia Records, um, I was able to find uh, a th the three pack of one of the Amiibos. And it came in the box and everything. And that is a uh, Splatoon Amiibo. Here's the Inkling Boy, the Green Squid, and of course, uh, Inkling Girl from the original Splatoon set and that's cool so I was able to unlock a lot of the costumes in Splatoon with that uh Splatoon 2 I should say oh I completely forgot this last Smash Amiibo uh Plasia a while back had their weekly flash sales that they always do and they marked down one Amiibo for like 15 bucks cost like 20 dollars to get it over here shipped from wherever the hell they are and that Amiibo was uh Lucina so I was finally able to get a Fire Emblem Amiibo. So I'll be able to use that in Fire Emblem Warriors to get stuff. Uh, finally, since I was talking about Splat, uh, Splatoon Amiibo, and Pearl and Marina were just recently in, um, revealed for Splatoon 2. So hopefully these have the same properties that these did for the original Splatoon 2. I got uh, Kelly and Marie right here. So I'll be able to use these for uh, Splatoon 2 to unlock their songs and stuff. Yeah, so, uh, Bomb, I forgot, something Bomb Rush and Tide Goes Out for her. And uh, that's all the Amiibo. Finally, we're um, we're going to uh, like the fan-made stuff that I was able to find. Um, and these are pretty cool. Um, I bought, I've bought a lot of things from Etsy over the years. I've gotten a dock switch cover, and uh, I bought a copy of Mother 1 Plus 2 as well, um, the fan translated one from them as well, and that's served me so well. Um, but these are pretty cool. I, I'm big into patches and everything, so I figured I'd pick a couple up to represent my uh, Switch love. Uh, first one is the Sheikah Eye from uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I don't know how well you can see that it's probably... Shining off of there. There's the Sheikah Eye. It has a nice vibrant blue cover. And I can't wait to iron that onto my bag. Uh, next one. Since I have the uh, blue. The neon blue and neon red colors. For my Nintendo Switch. I figured I'd pick up a Nintendo Switch uh, logo one. With those colors. And one of my favorite games for the Nintendo Switch right now is uh, Super Mario Odyssey. I'm still not done with that entire game. I'm going to try to go for 999 moons. I'm like at 700 and something, so I got like 200 moons to go. I picked up a Cappy, um, a Cappy patch uh, for my bag as well. Um, all these patches were bought by uh, Bitma or were from the Etsy store Bitmasterpiece. And 
they do a fantastic job they got a lot of other geeky patches that you can buy um they got like a bunch of the mario kart 8 um trophy um not trophy the mario kart 8 cups as patches and they're like really really huge it's like a I think it's about that big and those are pretty cool um and i guess that is everything that i was uh i picked up throughout the entire few weeks so far that's video game related um i hope you guys um enjoyed the video if you do um post your uh pickups through uh past week or so um i'd love to hear what you guys uh pick up uh during your hunt for game collecting and everything uh thank you so much for watching uh take care guys and i hope you have a wonderful night have a good nice night